Hey all, welcome back once again to my YouTube class. I am Manjit Rao, your online instructor. This is another session of Office 365, and in this session, we will discuss about uh, one of important service. Those service can help us to protect our uh, user account. So yes, I am talking about multi-factor authentication and SSPR. So if we talk about our previous session, so in previous session, we will dis we, we discussed about uh, how to add a custom domain, right? And uh, now I'm just going to proceed the uh, next step like as uh, uh, we successfully uh, we successfully added our custom domain to office 365 now this time try to understand about the use of multi-factor authentication and why we need to configure SSPR services so we'll try to understand about the concept and also we'll discuss about the procedure with the help of office 365 portal right so let's talk about the usage as per the name suggests the multi-factor authentication because you know that whenever we log in our mail id you know that with username and password it's not sufficient to secure your environment secure your mailboxes not only for the mailing services if you try to log in or sign up on any website uh, so it's mandatory we are responsible to protect our login because in case of username and password anyone can easily guess your username or password so that's why we need to create another layer of security so MFA is a part of uh, you can say that it will create another layer of security because uh, whenever we whenever you try to log in your user uh, with the help of username and password it also give you one more layer security like as a you will receive a code on your mobile register mobile number or maybe you need to approve through mobile authenticator uh, authenticator app like as uh, a microsoft authenticator or maybe google authenticator anything and if we talk about the sspr so as per the name suggest is uh, self service password reset as per the name suggest in this case user able to reset our password by self no need to coordinate any administrator right it's really um, you can say that a uh, uh, unique survey because in this case if you forget your user if you forget your password so you can reset your password by self without informing your administrator so let's move ourselves to the office 365 portal and try to understand about how we can manage it we'll guide you step by step okay so before that if you're new on my youtube channel if you're watching my video first time so you can subscribe my teach me cloud youtube channel because teach me cloud is a single technical training based youtube channel that give you 100% live practical without skipping any step okay so we are on page of our office 365 portal that we created by uh, free licenses so what you need to do for this particular task you just need to open your administrator center admin center of office 365 and uh, for sspr and multi factor authentication you must need to proceed with as active directory panel right so i'm just going to click on azure active directory panel because i'm just going to give you the complete details how you can manage azure ready services for o365 account so for now just try to understand about the mfa and sspr and after that we'll discuss about the hybrid setup and how we can manage the hybrid environment as well so we'll guide you and give you the proper practical Okay, need to open as your active IT users. It gives you the complete information, complete information in the sense like as we are able to find user groups and all. Okay, just just give me one minute, guys. Okay, unfortunately, I used uh, one service, our back service, and shared the subscription with another account. That's why we are unable to find it. Let's try to log in it again and uh, try to understand about the concept of SSPR and uh, about the services of multi-factor authentication. So, for this activity, what we need to do: sign in ourselves op uh, on Office 365, and you must need to log in. Uh, Azure AD panel because you know that Azure AD can give you the complete details related to the security 
fine so we are on page of our azure active directory services we are able to find users just need to click here and i'm going to give you the complete information from scratch so that's why i'm going to create a one user uh, let me delete uh, these users because we need to understand from scratch click on create new user i'm going to proceed with any name it's a depend upon you like uh, i want to create a user with name of uh, abc okay and uh, we have unfortunately we have a single domain it activity.onmicrosoft.com display name is also abc no need to do anything proceed with password i'm just going to provide my own password and click create fine so we successfully created a one user with name of abc and uh, let's try to log in the same user abc at the rate itbd dot something i'm going to log in on incognito bz okay so now you have only single security right right because we haven't configured anything so i'm just going to log in with the username and password and after that we'll discuss about the uh, multi-factor authenticator and after that, we'll try to understand about the concept of uh, SSPR as well. Okay, so we successfully log in our user that we created through Office 365 portal. I mean, as your administrator account, as your AD account, proceed. Right, we are able to access our user account through uh, Office 365 uh, portal, right? We haven't shared any license, that's why we are unable to find any uh, uh, product of our Office 365. Do one thing, R is enter to configure multi-factor authentication and SSPR, so that's why I'm going to configure the MFA. Open your Azure Active Directory, click Users, and in the User panel, you will find a one option is Per User MFA. So just need to click here, only root can perform this particular task select your user and unfortunately it's disabled you need to click here enable the multi-factor authentication that's it updated successfully and back to the uh, user account that you created sign out and you need to sign in again Okay, try to lock in it. Now, it will redirect you on page of uh, MFA. This is the panel where we can configure the multi-factor authentication. So in this case, I'm just going to provide my contact detail. Like uh, just select your contact number and click next. You will receive a six digit code for the verification like as because you are an owner so you will receive a six digit code on your uh, uh, mobile number nine two eight zero and four six okay click next done we successfully configured multi-factor authentication right and every time, now every time, whenever you try to log in your user account, means ABC at the rate something, whenever you try to log in your user account, definitely you will get uh, you will get a, a six digit code or you can say that OTP on your register number. I'm going to show you, just sign out and try to sign in again. So this is the two layer of security, like as a one is your password and second is your OTP. Let's uh, check how it can work. The first step, you need to provide your password, right? This is your re register number. Click here. You will receive a six digit code and you need to enter it and uh, then able to access.
fine we are able to log in our user account clear this is all about the multi-factor authentication what about SSPR so SSPR is a self-service password reset means if you forget your password and uh, you know that if you forget your password you need to coordinate to your administrator but if administrator activated the SSPR service so user can reset our password by self how we can configure it? it's really simple step that you need to use open your Azure Active Directory with the help of root account and see we are able to find one option password reset just need to click here whenever we click here it gives us a three different option none selected and all right so if you proceeded with all it means that you have already configured the SSPR services I'm just going to make it none means if you want to disable the SSPR for our user you can proceed with none if you want to provide the SSPR for selected user select and create uh, access your group in our case I'm just going to proceed with all now SSPR service is activated for our entire users which is available in uh, Active Directory so let me show you how it can work right click sign out try to log in okay sign in again you will receive a code for uh, means authentication second layer of security and verify We successfully activated the SSPR service so and we configured our uh, what we can say that our multi-factor authentication as well try to activate the SSPR services okay let me click here forget in my password provide the capture information fine so the number that you used for the multi-factor authentication and same number you can use it for the SSPR services so you need to enter your path enter your contact number click next it will send you a code and just need to verify because we click on, clicked on uh, uh, forget in my password and click now it will redirect you on the page of new password like as you just need to enter your new password and proceed right so it's really simple and make sure you haven't used this password that you try to create new Done. We successfully reset our password. So I hope you all of you understand about the concept of multi-factor authentication and uh, self-service password reset. If you have any doubt or question, please let me know. You can drop a comment and definitely will reach your comment and give you a proper solution. So that's it guys for today's class. We'll connect soon and discuss more about the Office 365 services. And please do subscribe and share the video with your office colleague and your friends as well. Thank you guys. Take care and bye-bye.